All right, here we go. Second round. Episode 23, KT Confidential. Um, welcome, guys. We've got uh, Matt and John here from uh, Kingsgate Construction, our first guests on the podcast. Exciting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're happy to have you. So uh, we just want to start with getting kind of your stories from way back where, wherever you started and how you ended up where you are now. I'll start first. So, yeah, I was born and raised in Milton and uh, always had a passion for construction from a young age and kind of followed my dad's lead. So in high school, I started my own seasonal construction business and I was uh, starting landscaping because it's all they would trust a kid to do. Yeah. <laughs> so I was doing interlogging pathways and stuff like that. Um, that was my summer job all through high school. Eventually those clients said, "Who do you know who can do kitchens? And I said, well, that's what I actually want to do. <laughs> so started doing those for people, and that took me through university. Um, I was going to George Brown College, got my degree in construction sciences and management. Um, so did that for four years. Every summer there, I'd be doing renovations on houses, um, learning about building during the year. Nice. And then when I graduated, that's when Kingsgate really took off, and that's when John joined with me, technically, because I started Kingsgate Construction, and John helped, and we've grown it together. So Matt started when he's like 21 years old, so he's got he's got that young baby face on him. And, and, and <laughs> I was going to say, he's only about 23 yeah. now. <laughs> so no trust, yeah. Yeah, just because he's so young. So I brought the gray hair to the equation. Mm -hmm. Inexperienced. And, inexperienced. Yeah. So I'd, I'd been a partner in my own firm for 30 years doing construction management. And just the opportunity to work with my son was pretty exciting. And yeah. we both had the same interest and the same passion. So off we went. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Well, and uh, so we, oh, I anyways, first heard of you through Instagram. You guys are quite active there. Yeah, I've tried to be. Yeah, and then uh, started noticing, uh, I probably saw your signs around town before that, but then once you, I saw you online, I started to put it all together. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's neat watching what you guys are doing. It kind of yes. gives people insight into how the projects work. Yeah, for sure. So I, I love showing off clients what we can do and just kind of showing the inner workings of what our projects are. So showing trim details and all the stages of a project from when we're starting to gut a project, the demo phases, and just kind of show what a renovation includes. Includes. Yeah, um, it's fun to show them all those processes, and I like showing behind the wall. We're proud to show what's behind the wall, so it gives clients that transparency. Kind of, this is what we do, and here's all the steps, and then we could really show off all what our trim carpenters can do, and just how good we actually are. And it's kind of fun to brag about it because we're we're confident in our abilities, and yeah. we know we're good. And I'd like to show it off to people, and here we are, and this is what we do. Yeah, I, I have seen some of the uh, projects that you've worked on, and. Um, you know, you definitely have the attention to details. Like we wouldn't invite just anybody to yeah. <laughs> come and sit here with us because we consider ourselves pretty high attention to detail uh, people, especially um, in the real estate world. And uh, uh, you guys do nice work. I got to point out for a second. I know. Here. I was thinking the same thing. I know you're right. going to say. We've, we've got the, we've, we're all we're rocking already, yeah. the uh, we're branded, branded pullovers. Well. Yeah. The yeah. branded pullovers, they uh, they always work. And, for uh, sure. Yeah, we like branding. We're, we're pretty. All of our guys are branded on site. So. I know notice that in your videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And we actually had a neighbor of a job talk to the clients that I haven't seen a more polite, well-dressed group of guys. Just we haven't heard anyone swearing and we're just, we're a clean cut group of carpenters. Trades kind of have that connotation of you might be a bit rough around the edges. We're pretty proud of what we are. We're educated. Um, they're skilled. They've got some are red seal carpenters. We have apprentices. We're all trained in what we do. Yeah. Dress as a team. We are a quality team and we well, I show remember it. when we had our uh, Ariel and I our next door neighbors and we were having our our fences put in uh, shortly a few years after we moved into these houses and the contractors at one point were just out there just drinking beer and smoking no. and some had no shirts on some were wearing <laughs> yeah. like you know white beaters and it doesn't just work like, for us yeah no. like we have strict shirt on policy no one needs to see that yeah. all our guys are fit but even then it just doesn't seem professional wear yeah. your t-shirt yeah. you can take the sleeves off if you want but that's about yeah. it <laughs> unless that's your brand maybe that's what you're you're thinking yeah shirtless. not so much that's, that's what your image is no yeah. that's not our image. no that's not our image no a bit more polished than that yeah yeah you, you mentioned uh uh, you, something along the lines of like showing people what's behind the walls and then made me think of something. My brother um, and his wife have renovated a couple of cottages up north and recently uh, they posted some pictures of the most uh, of the current one that they're working on and when they took the walls down uh, there was like all these uh, really old newspapers in there. It was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like I we find that sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah, it was like really old stuff. When I, I took my cottage walls apart, all we found was mold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys we don't ever we find anything interesting well, back there. The Scotch block 
project we're working on is one of the first homesteads in the region. It was built in 1840. Yeah. And uh, the walls were full of old booze bottles. And oh, med- wow. medicine cool. bottles had the old skull and crossbones on them. Oh, cool. Yeah, pretty neat. It said neat. medicine on it, but it was pretty much booze. Yeah. And it was in the... Oh, that time it probably yeah, was probably medicine, was. right? <laughs> <laughs> it, it might be medicine yeah, now yeah, if there's still any in there. <laughs> Every time we pulled this off and down, a bunch of bottles would rain on us. So oh, this, my goodness. The poor guy was hiding stuff wherever he could, mm-hmm. stuffing it into those eaves. We yeah. found some in the chimney. Yeah. Yeah, so we did one on and Milton and the old Milton part. Um, we called that one the Heritage Home. And when we took that apart, we found the same stuff yes. and newspapers and kind of showing timestamps of what's going on. Yeah. So it's kind of fun what you can find we in these old projects. We saw one there. It was an, an invitation to the church uh, oh, yeah. dinner. And give yourself time to get the carriages there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was That was really yeah. interesting. And yeah. people were coming from an hour and a half carriage ride away. Oh, my goodness. So we yeah. think of that, you know, that's to Toronto, but that was a long horse. Trafalgar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 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 That's, that's the farmers coming, on the Tremaine yeah. and coming, coming in. from the communities right around here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Up, that yeah. stuff would make great for uh, posts. It was very, yeah. For sure. It was, it was very interesting. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, speaking of the uh, Scotch Walk Winery, how did you guys end up with that gig? That's a that's a pretty big job. Yeah, so that client looked at a few different contractors to that, and they couldn't really find one that fit. Um, there's a lot of contractors out there, project managers that, just run the project and do that kind of work. And they didn't feel comfortable with that. They wanted someone a bit more hands-on and they kind of stumbled upon us and where our office is actually just up the road from them. So we went to look at the house and we have experience in heritage homes. And it's an extremely complicated build. Very complicated. Like um, <laughs> we had to retain all of the old historic walls um, and basically yeah. tie in and really make it right. Yeah, it was old rubble foundation, 20 inch old stone walls, just Water problems, rot the problems. The house was left for seven years prior to, and just wow. animals everywhere, and just the place was falling apart. Took a four foot fox snake out of the attic that was eating oh, squirrels, wow. things yeah. like that. Families wow. and families of squirrels. It was pretty disgusting when we got there. <laughs> and, so. and they were ready to give up on it. They said, oh, well, you know, we can't salvage it. You know, we'll, we'll sell. Yeah. But we a, said, no, we could salvage this. And mm-hmm. it's turning into be one of our best builds ever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see it. Yeah, yeah. it's a neat one. So we'd be happy to show you it. It's pretty cool. So it looks out over the reservoir, and we, maybe we should take a it's trip a wa- up. And it's yeah. a waterfront yeah. property within five minutes it, of Milton. It feels like you're in the Muskoka. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah. So yeah. we took off the old addition that was just not well done in the first place, and we added how many square feet? Three. 000? It's six thousand now. Yeah. So it's wow. a big house. It's, a, it's nice. Yeah. Eight, eight bathrooms. Eight bathrooms. Well, that's why you have to redo the whole roof, I think, too. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. The original house, we fully gutted right back to the old stone walls and had to basically reframe a, wall, a house inside the old f- structure. So we mm-hmm. took it all out, poured a new concrete floor, new footings inside the old house, and then started building up this kind of skeleton within wow. what was the house. It's it's a to die for house now. Yeah, it's incredible. It's absolutely gorgeous. Did you guys have any problems with um, getting sign offs from the municipality or anything? Every ins- past we have a, on everyone. We have try. a really good relationship <laughs> with all of the building inspectors. Yeah. Really, they're usually yeah. impressed with what we've done, and it becomes a pretty mm-hmm. casual conversation. Yeah, and yeah. we're just happy to see the house, but. Yeah, our name holds pretty strong. They kind of walk through, and yeah, you know what you're doing. Good. Did it have any sort of heritage designation? That one, definitely. Yeah, that one did. Yeah, just got it the the, be- the year before we started working on it. So we had to replicate all the roof lines and make sure we're keeping to the style of the home. Yeah, um, so make that's sure something interesting all that. for us because we, you know, if we ever get clients that are interested in homes like that, most of the time they have no clue. Uh, they just hear heritage, and right. they're like, "Yeah, oh, I can't touch it." No, you, you can know? touch them for sure. So the, like the one we did, um, that was on Mary Street. And, and Mill Street. And Mill Street. Yeah, we've done a few <laughs> in the area. Um, Mary was a full gut right back to the brick. Changed the whole layout inside. Added an addition to the back. As long as you stick to keep not looking like a contemporary addition on the yeah. back and kind of keep with the style of the home, you can pretty much do what you want. Mm-hmm. It's just you got to respect what the old structure is. But that's something we kind of find fun, too. It's, yeah. It's yeah, fun to sure. retain that and not just tear down every house, right? Yeah. Well, that's the the appeal to Old Milton and downtown cores anyway. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. all the characters. The beautiful homes. Yeah. Yeah. People trying to get mm-hmm. out of Yeah. All the new builds were every every house. Yeah, they look the same. Yeah, they're big houses, but they don't have that character and the the charm, right? And the lots are so unique too. Yeah, definitely, they're always different. There's been a lot of um, hundred year old porches. Yeah, uh, that have have collapsed around town. We've we've done a few of them now, where we've actually um, returned new um, 
spindles okay. spindles for the railings and oh, everything cool. and, and yeah. completely replicated the original railings yeah so match all that old work and th- we had the one reason. client said he was going to start he had to paint it and as he started to paint it he says oops i have to replace it <laughs> <laughs> it turned into a big job but, but we straightened it all up and it turned out really yeah. pretty mm-hmm. so do you have any uh, tips? I have a, a client right now looking in older Milton, not old Milton, but like Brawny Meadows. Mm-hmm. And, and there's uh, they're looking at a lot of back splits, side splits, that sort of <laughs> thing. Most of them smaller than what they like. For sure. But not having many options other than that. So they're they're trying to envision what it could be. Yeah. You know, Interesting. Uh, That's what we just came from. We just came from a meeting with us. So yeah. any, back split any that they were having trouble figuring it out. That might be considering to buy? Like how can they maybe piece together what it might look like or price wise, like what do they have a budget past that they want to invest into it for yeah, rentals eventually? Would. Yeah. Like depending on the purchase price and what they can get yeah. for theirs, they're kind of, so always an addition gets you that more space people are typically looking for. Yeah. And we find the back split side splits are tricky to work with. For sure. um, the back split we're looking at, that's got the existing floor. So upstairs right now there's three bath, three bedrooms and a bathroom. We take all those bedrooms out. That space now becomes kitchen, living, dining room. And then we add on the addition and that becomes bedrooms, en suites, your sleeping area. And that big space you'd liked now becomes your living area and then deck off the back and that worked for them. Right. Um, so we do surprise our clients sometimes because we think a little bit outside of the box and they may be thinking just modify a room and we'll mm-hmm. say, clean out the whole f- layer and brief jig all of the rooms and, yeah. and get all of your dreams instead of fixing maybe just one or two rooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, what happens then a few years down the road, if they don't do it, like you're saying, uh, exactly. then they say, Oh, we should have, exactly. or let's look at that now. And it mm-hmm. becomes more expensive. Probably, Definitely. Right? Yeah. There's economics of doing it kind of one shot. Initially the first sticker price can kind of be shocking, but you look at it, there's economics to just, well, let's dive in, do it. It's the house you want. You enjoy that house. And then yeah. when it comes time to sell, you're getting what you want back out of it. Yeah. Well, some of the worst houses are the ones where uh, you can tell, like, previous, well, one previous owner did the kitchen, the next previous yes, owner absolutely. did a couple bathrooms. Yeah. And it just absolutely. Doesn't no, work it's at nice all. just kind of like four different types of floors. Yeah, it doesn't work. Consi- no. That's what this house is now. And we're going to make it one consistent style throughout. And yeah. they'll see their investment back. They're going to live in it for 10, 15 yeah. years. And then time to sell, it's going to be worth everything they put in and yeah. more. So. We're very cognizant of that. We're always telling them to, you know, be careful what you add your money into bathrooms, yeah. kitchens, that kind of thing. Do get good return on their values. Yeah. Sometimes people want to just do things that don't make a lot of sense, and so we, yeah. we caution them against yeah. that kind of thing. Well, yeah. and you can buy a two hundred dollar toilet or a twenty thousand dollar toilet. Yes, we just did one with four thousand dollar toilets, and that's right. Three other bathrooms, so yeah. nice toilets. It's all relative, not, not though. Necessary. If you've got a five million dollar house, well, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Some people want that, so so yeah. be it. Yeah. Well, I met with clients uh, not too long ago, and they. Um, they had invested a fair bit of money into their house. House is worth around eight hundred thousand and uh, maybe ten, twelve years old. And they put in a, a sixty thousand dollar kitchen. Yeah, makes um, sense. Yeah. And a fifty thousand dollar roof. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's a lot of money. Where they probably could have done it for much less. And it's a relatively small house. Yeah. Um, so I think a lot of people they need to look at um, what they're putting in relative to what the what that type of house coming for sure for. the return and yeah. all that. Well, it depends on on their intentions too. If they're yeah. planning on selling five to ten years, right. then maybe. The, but if they want to die there for the next twenty five mm-hmm. years, then yeah, maybe they exactly. don't care. Right, make yeah. you make it feel like home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people are gutting and rebuilding these homes because they're going to spend their life there. Yeah. And at least they think that. Well, they're yeah. planning on it. <laughs> or sometimes well, they, they like the process and then they're doing it quicker than they thought, thought again. We have a lot yeah. of clients like that. They renovate it. Oh, that was fun. We made equity. Yeah. Let's sell. Move and do Make it. sure we can do it again. stack of business yeah. cards. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. <laughs> well, the good news is the way that these builders are building nowadays, you'll have a lineup of houses oh, not, to yeah. rebuild. You're right. not We've gone to many of them. We're already, already seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're, yeah. Like bathrooms are falling apart earlier than they should be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People are calling us because, you know, my shower leaks into my kitchen. And well, when I close my garage door, my whole house shakes. Yeah. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't feel good. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, 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 and I think the other thing from the construction side and, and renovations and all that is that 
There are so many design choices that are getting outdated quicker than they used to. Yes. Like people aren't going with that classical look anymore. They're going with what's trendy Mm -hmm. and what's trendy right now, like blue cabinets with, uh, you know, an odd shaker style might not be the it thing five to 10. Yeah. Yeah. With brass hardware. It's pretty common. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) It's actually brushed gold. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. (laughs) It's pretty common. Talk about expensive details. Yeah. It's fairly common to be called to a purchaser who's just bought a house yep. and, and ask us to take out a kitchen that we think it looks really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just the wrong color. Or, you I'm know, sure you guys see that a lot too. Like once sure. you well, go to a house, it's still not always perfect, right? You're hopping yeah. into a renovation pretty quick. I've seen houses where the sellers replace the kitchen to sell yep. and they drive by a week after it closes and they've got the kitchen on the front <laughs> yeah. lawn because yeah. they're yeah. replacing it again. Yeah. We had a client that purchased a new build up in Aaron. And uh, well, he's a carpenter, um, and but he took out uh, he everything. took out everything. Yeah. Just couldn't floors, leave it alone. The, yeah, the yeah. floors, <laughs> the kitchen, everything, and replaced it all. Mm-hmm. So I got to ask you guys, what's your what's your favorite pr- type of project to work on? Custom Probably new homes. Yeah, we we like to have a going ground up is fun. Yes, just a blank so slate. Tear something down. That's our absolute favorite. Yeah. Tear it right down, start over again. Yeah. Watch this thing come out of the ground. But there's a lot of fun in the challenges of doing a renovation for sure. We definitely lean to the more complex ones. Yeah. Um, We're not typically just doing kitchens and stuff like that. mm -hmm. It's it's the full house guts and coming in and just changing what that house was into something new. Those are typically the projects we're taking on. Yeah. Um, Those ones are fun. They're a lot of fun. Heritage homes are always fun. Yeah. Always challenging. Yeah. We like the challenges. <laughs> are there any things that um, you can think of for somebody that might be doing a major reno or considering a rebuild or whatever that um, after it's all done, they're like, oh, I wish I had have considered doing that or like, I know kitchens are a big thing. Like even little things like uh, built-ins. En suites. En suites. Yeah. People want those always. I find home automation starting to take up over more and more. Yeah. Building in sound systems to Sonos, like speakers in the ceilings off of Sonos amplifiers. They can just play music off their phone and it goes to the house. That's nice. Yeah. Um, the we ring systems, nests throughout. Can't seem to get big enough TVs in anymore. Oh, no. yeah. We're doing a lot of theater rooms now. Theater I saw a picture rooms. of a cool one you were doing in a basement. Yeah, yes. that was one in Acton we did. That oh, was incredible. Cool. Yeah, that was a bit. We're doing yeah. an even cooler one up in Aaron soon. That's going to be yeah. incredible. Yeah, so... Um, Probably the cost of the electronics is more than the reno itself. (laughs) Sometimes, yeah, for sure. Well, actually, it's getting cheaper, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Depends what you do. You can get a projector. There's a big range for eighty thousand if you want, but we're typically doing projectors around ten thousand range and screens. So if somebody contacts you guys and they want to put a a home theater in their basement, they want to finish the basement, put a home theater in there. Are you guys uh, the ones coaching them through the electronic components? Do you have? Yeah, we work with sub trades for that specialty stuff and guide them through and take them to their showrooms and sit in these couches and hear the sound system and see the quality of the image and. The one thing we do is we're very loyal to our our sub trades, so we do gather them around the, the sub trades that are good at the stuff that we keep running into. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So our electrician, for example, knows you know we're getting into a sound system or security systems or anything that's going to be an upgrade. Mm-hmm. We know right away he's really good at it, and we can trust him, and we can pass that on to our clients. Yeah. Oh, well, so, that's really important when you're it taking is. it on as a mm-hmm. general contractor to be. Yeah, able to you got to have, have a that. strong team behind you. Yes, for sure. Any funny stories or odd stories that uh, might give somebody a chuckle? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can you think of any? Hmm. Funny stories, eh? We've seen some crazy stuff we, before we, we go we, in and take it down. We've been asked to do some stuff that is a little crazy. Ever have a client that wanted you to do something and you just couldn't wrap your head around? It's like, I just... Normally we love that kind of challenge. Yeah. Yeah. We, we had one guy that... Torture room. Picture. <laughs> no torture room. We had a guy yeah. who pictured himself as Batman. Yeah, we did the Bat Cave. So we, we oh, actually cool. did a hidden staircase oh, really? behind the bookshelf. Yeah, I think. And, may, yeah, and then yeah. there's a fire pole in there, too, which isn't, awesome. isn't technically allowed. Yeah. Oh, we really? made it work. So yeah. let's not talk a lot about that. <laughs> yeah. We, 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 did, we did give him a fire pole. It's only like a few hundred thousand people. That <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That was cool. The hideaway staircase is really cool. Yeah. You there's sneak no down. idea. Is it really discreet? I need one of those. No idea. You wouldn't know. We actually built the addition two feet 
deeper than the rest. So there's a hidden staircase oh, out, cool. outside. You Lines see something's going inside. on, but inside you cannot tell. So you're sitting in the living room and the kids just come out of the out of the book. Literally, literally where did you book? come from? Cool. Yeah, where and did then, you come from? So they have my a, kids would never know about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> We've done a few secret doors and stuff like that. That, yeah. that's, that one's that's cool. Fun. Then you go down to the basement or down the fire pole, and then you're into a rock gym. So they have a climbing wall down there, and then mm-hmm. they have the back man suit and a glass box with a light on it. And that's cool. Fun clients. We really enjoyed working with them. Down to a game room with ping pong tables. That's a fun one. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. A few secret rooms, stuff like that, but nothing. I can't think of anything overly funny. No. We've seen some houses before we tear them down that are just, you don't know how someone lived in it beforehand. We've been (laughs) disappointed with the paint colors on some. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember we did one that was gorgeous. We're very, very proud of it. And then they came in and painted it. Just horrendous colors. Yeah, black and orange. Oh, Ruined the house. Didn't like, work, but well, we see that all the time yeah. because <laughs> uh, you know people, especially with paint, and thankfully it's easy fix, yeah. right? But uh, people always choose paint colors that are to their liking. Yes. Um, sometimes they should always have a designer involved. Yeah, yeah. we work with yeah, a few interior designers. Yeah. They help make that cohesive look quickly, and it takes your house to a whole new level. Yeah, for sure. I remember once about a week before we were listing a house for sale, my client called me. And he's like, oh, man, I'm so excited. you got to come and see my dining room. I painted it. So I go over, <laughs> lime green. Nice. Oh. And, it, and he's like, I saw this in a magazine. I'm like, not like this you did. No, not like this. <laughs> like, I so can't sell that. We had to redo yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. So it was a fun conversation. For sure. But it's funny because we get um, I mean, people with no experience doing things they shouldn't be, and they're so proud of the results. Yeah, I remember we went into a house once, and he was like, "Oh yeah, I installed this cork floor in my kitchen, and it was just like." Yeah, we have some of that. You kind of have see to that. around and we come in. Yeah, yeah did be this. very yep. diplomatic. Yeah. We walk into yeah, a house sure. and we look at what we tear out. And we don't always open our mouth right away because sometimes that's what Not the client did. The job, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We have put our foot in our mouth a couple yeah, of like, times. Yeah, like, well, this kitchen's garbage, and I did, but I did this. Painted. Yeah, like, whoops, yeah. What happened to your trim? Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, um, no, no, it's, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So you guys got a lot of projects on the go now. You've got the uh, the winery. Yeah. So um, your Scotch Aaron. Block build, Air New build, Maple Makeover. Um, I like how you brand those with yeah. hashtags. By yeah. the way, good job. Good way to follow them. Yeah. Um, those are three big ones now. We have a lot in the oven though. We're typically we're running five to ten jobs at a time. Yeah. So of those similar yeah. scale. And we, yeah, we got another five to ten gig. To start right away. Yeah. So and next week they go. Again, we we're talking about that, just waiting for the spring to break so that we can actually get to work. Mm-hmm. So and the spring rush hits and then kind of find we're booked till Christmas and wow. that <laughs> happens pretty fast. So yeah. we're pretty much out in the summer already. And then mm-hmm. yeah, and you guys are pretty actively involved with all these projects. Oh, very yeah, much. Yeah, very much we're so. We're on site all the time. Yeah. So our crews are on site. We have site supers, um, project managers all in house. So we're taking care of that work. I project manage. Um John kind of sees big picture. Um, and then we have another project manager that's looking over those jobs. And we have our site supers that kind of report back to us. And they're the kind of the on the hand on the tools and they're working on site. So they kind of see the ins and outs and what's going on and kind of report back to we us. We like what being needs to be on done. site. Yeah. I like being site more than the office. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's he, fun being with the guys and seeing everything going on. And Matt prefers me in the office. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, how does how do you find because uh, when Ariel and I got uh, working in in uh, this business together, um, we had a lot of people. I know on my side, people were like, "Oh, are you sure you want to get into business with a friend?" Like, I don't know. It's not. It doesn't usually work out. Mm-hmm. How do you find working together? I think we're just a strong team. Yeah. yeah. What's good? With we've had our disagreements. What a love story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we've had some we've real had knockdown some, drag out fights, but we always we have up, a hug afterwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've gone. Yeah, we've got some pretty big blows, but yeah. you hug at the end and say, you're still my dad. I'm not going to I'm yeah. not gonna hate yeah. you. Like, yeah. <laughs> but we don't agree all the time. No, but I think that's what makes us strong. Yeah. It gets to that common ground that that's where we're always that's what helps our clients. We're like, kicking our ideas back and forth all yeah. the time. Yeah. So. Being partners, we wouldn't be able to do this without each other for sure. We o- lean on each other. Old and young is good, too, because my ideas are out of date. And he's new and coming, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you bring that experience and Yeah. If there's a problem we haven't seen, you probably have seen it. That's right. <laughs> so that yeah. stuff helps. And then yeah. we learn from him and, yeah. you know, it's, it's a good team. So what are you guys doing over the next five to ten years? We're uh, continuing growing, for sure. I just don't know to what level. We keep talking about it. We, yeah. it's a str- Every day we talk, how big do we want to get? Mm-hmm. We could grow a lot. Yeah. We're getting into more and more customs. Um, but we also want to have the weekends off. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if we ever want more staff. Like we're, we're struggling. 12 we're people definitely as we struggling are now with office that. staff and all that. And 
Yeah. More and more people, sometimes can be a headache. We have a really strong company culture and we're, we want to keep that. Sometimes mm-hmm. you bring in new personalities, not sure how that's going to work. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're, but we're pushing that. more to the, the larger custom. Yeah. Homes. We're getting more into bigger customs, bigger renos, and then potentially into development in 10 years. We're looking at that, talking with investors yeah. and getting that direction doing. We're certainly leaving all the doors open. Yeah. It'd be neat to get to that stage for sure. Where we're managing 20 custom homes in a development and mm-hmm. grow mm-hmm. that way in 10 years. would be a goal for sure. I can see doing that. Yeah. But we see what comes our well, way. It's funny you bring that up because we actually have similar goals. Yeah, very cool. And so our, um, you know, our plan, obviously, uh, much like you guys, we uh, we started just the two of us uh, back in 2011, and now we're a team of seven. And uh, very that, similar. That, that mm-hmm. company culture is uh, um, very very important, not Definitely. only for us and on a day to day, but for our clients and mm-hmm. the clients really notice that, right? They they notice 100%. when you when you all love each other and you work hard towards the same goal. You work hard for your clients, mm-hmm. um, but our goal is to uh, start um, you know uh, being part of uh, building. Um, properties, communities, Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, that's, that's the long-term goal to take it all kind of in-house for us too. So maybe you need business cards. Maybe (laughs) maybe there is a unique path that we're 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 talking with investors this morning. I just said to Matt, we have to find real estate agents that can find us dividable lots. Like that is a really hard commodity to yeah, get a is. hold of right now. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in Halton region. Right. Yeah. yeah. But the town, um, they're changing their thinking. They are thinking more intensification instead of, a, you know, mm-hmm. urban sprawl. sprawl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we got to believe they're out there. Oh yeah. You just got to figure out how to get them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah, we're always working with designers and investors and just trying to find these properties and, we recently looked at a, a potential that would have been really fun because it would have changed the neighborhood. Um, an old crappy home on the corner was going to, yeah, we, well, we had a one. thought of turning it into a yeah. new townhouse and that would have made the, would have started to change the neighborhood to go in the right direction. Mm-hmm. And to me, that would be really exciting to see maybe a, a more run down side of yeah. town suddenly start to emerge mm-hmm. as a, a I nice think the place town would to embrace be. that as well in the community, oh, right? It's a yeah. change, but it's a positive change. Yeah. So. So to get into that. Some, be, somebody's got to start it, right? Right. Exactly. Like so it would be kind of... Street in Toronto didn't just... Exactly. Start exactly. Just like exactly. Overnight. Mm-hmm. So Same we're kind of... We're per- interested in finding that. You know, I know it's hard to find it, but areas like that mm-hmm. would be really fun to kind of work on. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. We're going to see a lot more of that, especially as, you know, people from Toronto... Um, they're pushing out west. Yeah, Milton, Mississauga is getting quite expensive. So Guelph and Cambridge, yeah, it's changing uh, fast. Acton, yeah. Aaron, yeah, these are all places. If Acton that are, gets their water pipe up and all that, it's going to yeah. change fast. Yeah, well, a lot of people don't know. Mattamy actually owns a lot of land up in Acton. Yeah, um, and uh, well, makes, it sense. makes sense. Yeah, they're yeah. thinking they've been big very, picture. They've That's been right. very smart about buying. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. They bought Milton when nobody thought we were going to build anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's incredible. Yeah. So, all right, let's push uh, business aside for a second. Matt, uh, I creeped you a little bit on uh, <laughs> Facebook. Uh, you got married not that long ago. Yeah, married. Oh, now you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Last September. I've been married for a year and a bit now. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Happily married. Happily married. Yeah. Yeah, well, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Married life it's good, yet? for sure. Yeah, yeah, we were dating for eight years prior to then, so. He was yeah. way overdue. Uh, yeah, way overdue. It's all been, it's been good, all good since. I know someone uh, like that. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Put the heat well, on yeah, somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I am engaged. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very yeah. good. We, we That's had, exciting. Uh, yeah, we uh, were proud parents of twin, uh, cool. twin boys uh, who are turning two years old uh, next Why? month. Neat. You're a busy man. Yeah. 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 So so that pushed back the wedding a little bit. Yeah, we that would excuse. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what do you guys do when you're not working? We have a family cottage. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the cottage? renovating that cottage? <laughs> <laughs> that needs renovation. Yeah. That's, that's up in Corthus. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. In oh, Lake. Uh, Shandos Lake, uh, so. northeast of Peterborough by 45 minutes. Okay. So. I built that with my dad when I was 14. Mm-hmm. Um, he knew that I wanted to build cool. when I was six. Wow. So he got excited about building that cottage. We built that and young. Just left you up there in the summer to figure it out. When Matt came along, um, 
we did an addition, and I, we have pictures of Matt helping me when he was two years old with his uh, little. Yeah. Uh, really, isn't the yeah. blood, eh? Isn't, yeah, that, it isn't is. that funny yeah. though? We have a really Ron cute holding picture. A saw. He's holding, <laughs> yeah, he's holding a tool in his hand. Yeah, watching. Can, can I help? Watching my grandparents and you work. And, that's right. Yeah, that's watching cool. Poppy and. Yeah. So w- there's a real f- strong family connection up there that we like to yeah, get away. That's our there. getaway. It's that's nice our just getaway. to decompress up there. And just, yeah. It's, it's a nice place to be. <laughs> we try not to talk business when we get up there. Yeah. It's hard. Right. <laughs> We're going to be, yeah. Especially if you have Wi Fi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we just disconnect up there. We yeah. just hope the fish are biting and we have something else to yeah, talk about. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Or we're renovating our own houses. Sadly yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah, my wife asked for a new bathroom eight years ago. Yeah, you started so and it's been I'm, a month process. It's, I started it again. And it's probably take another eight years to finish it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm four years in my house finally renovated. So it takes a lot longer for us to do it. We're focusing on clients most of the yeah, time. Yeah, of course. The old yeah. Well, that's like my house. People walk in and you know, there's no artwork on the walls. It's not decorated. <laughs> Your house is online. Looks so great. What yeah. happened? Yeah, yeah. I'm busy working on those ones. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. Um, so if somebody wants to touch base with you guys, um, they're looking at like, we've got a bunch of clients that uh, could be potential clients for mm-hmm. you as an example. But uh, how do people reach out to you and what's your process if they do? So typically we're getting leads out through Instagram, house or going on our website, just reach out to us, email us, call our office. And then we have our initial meeting process where we just see what they want to do, get an idea of their wish list, um, come to our office, look at our showroom and um, just kind of discuss the process from there. Um, we do, we do find people are very, um, uh, um, green. Well, just, <laughs> uh, afraid almost. Timid. It's yeah. very su- super timid about getting into the process. So yeah. Finding that contract, we, we right away, you know, oh, so many horror stories. Exactly. So, so we we have a pretty good formula where we set up to to get them to relax and show them that we're how we're going to do it from start to finish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And we do talk about budgets and schedules and where you'd have to live while yeah. we do it. And Payment schedule. Basically, and address all of their mm-hmm. concerns because yeah. yeah, there is a lot of things to be considered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right off the bat, just to calm people down, like we're giving detailed budget sheets just to show them from having a porter drawn on job site d- dumpster fees all the way down to your um, countertops, kitchen hardware. We're showing all that as line items so they can see this is why we get to these numbers. So, cause people don't get, how do you hit 200,000 all of a sudden, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's shocking to some people, but you break it down that way. They start getting an idea of it. They're getting more educated in that aspect. And as we break it down, we give them options as well. Mm-hmm. Like if we're coming in too low and they want to add money to it, we can do that. That's easy to do. <laughs> yeah. <That's easy>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we're coming in too high, there's options to bring yeah. it back. We like down. pricing at the, what people want for sure. If not the higher end. That might shock them initially, but you can always pull it back and still get that same look they're trying to achieve. Yeah. Um, so we work with them that way a lot just to make sure we get to the budget they want to be at. Um, we always were strong believers. We do not take money up front ever. So a lot of contractors say I need that deposit of twenty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 before we start. We do not do that. That's instant trust with our clients. So mm-hmm. after the first two weeks, you've seen what we can do. Now you start paying us. We so, strongly advise people not to get caught into that trap. You deposit before you start. Mm-hmm. We've had to fix up a few homes or even rebuild homes for people that had put big deposits down and those are probably the They're horror gone. stories you've heard. Up, right? yeah. gone. That was terrible. Yeah. That young couple was sat up and yeah. put all their life yeah, yeah. Their life savings into it and the guy never showed up again. So very sad. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of how our process goes. And then once we start, we just keep talking through them, constant communication, just make sure they know every step, what's coming up the next few weeks, make sure they're making their decisions months in advance so they're not feeling pressured. So and and we connect them with our past clients. Yeah, that gives people a lot of comfort when you. Mm-hmm. We, we can call any one of our past com- clients and say, "Go see Joe down the street. He'll talk about us." And yeah, see our workmanship and yeah, we show clients our projects prior yeah. to signing of what. So we're that doing. tends to calm people down enough that yeah, you know maybe we can move ahead with this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and for people without that creative eye, you get them involved with architecture. Yeah, so we have yeah. designers, designers we work with all the time, and interior designers, architects, whatever we need. And, yeah. Um, help yeah. people visualize space because no one can it seems like course, some yeah. people can read a blueprint but i take that yeah. blueprint i'm making the 3ds in house and walking people through their houses show you your kitchen is what your island's going to look like yeah. get a sense of the space so really help them feel comfortable with how it's going to be how it's going to look prior to we even start working on it we, yeah. we do see a lot of people don't understand flat blueprints yeah like they just don't it's hard can't to visualize, visualize you yeah. know so the 3d is an amazing tool it allows us to really show them and let them walk through the house Mm-hmm. We've actually finished a project once where when we're all done, 
the homeowner went, wow, I, I had no idea it was going to look like this. And we're just, what do you mean? You know, yeah, they're like, I didn't the realize. Finished product, you mean? Finished product. Finished home. Virtual. Oh, wow. No, finished product. Finished home. They, like, oh, I didn't realize the stairs were there. And oh, oh that's what my kids Before was we like, had 3D you, drawings. You should have told me. <laughs> and as yeah. we're finishing, they're going, this is amazing. I had no idea it was going to look like yeah. this. And we're that's like, what do you mean? Trust you had no point. idea. Say, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> start charging extra. Yeah. Yeah. It, it surprised us how few people mm-hmm. can't actually visualize that 3D. So mm-hmm. the helped, 3D helps, helps a ton. ton. Yeah. Especially recognizing the space that's in there. Right? Yeah. Everyone says, I don't get like an eight by five island. What's that look like? Right. Like yeah. it's bigger than this table we're sitting at, but how big is it? And can I walk around it? So it right. gives you that a sense of just the space for sure. Yeah. Furniture layout. Everyone doesn't know how their furniture is going to see. I'm sure you see that all the time, right? Moving into a new house. How's my furniture fit? Well, that's why we stage all of our properties because an empty room feels smaller than a proper yes. furnished room. Yeah. Right? So well, sometimes furnished difference. rooms, like you talk about it all the time. People usually purchase sofas. That oh, it's like I've got a 10 right. foot wall, so I'm going to get a 10 foot couch. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't, fit. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't work quite that no. well. We did a job where they loved the couch they had bought and it was just way oversized oh, yeah. for the room. Had to mm-hmm. deal with that too. And so we had to show them, here's where it's going to fit in there. Oh, that doesn't fit in there. Yeah. Well, this is what we're trying to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. You should buy the house, then buy the furniture. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it does solve all those problems. Mm-hmm. So uh, so I think we're going to make a date to come and visit you guys yeah, at the love to show you before stuff. you finish yeah, that for job sure. up. Yeah. How much uh, time left do you have there? Probably another month, I'm guessing, month, fully wrapped month up. Month to finish. Kitchens are going in. We're finishing the last of the trim. Yep. Painters are there in two weeks doing their last finishes. So it's coming together. So yeah, be happy to show you it. It's yeah, a cool yeah, project. Love to. That'd yeah, be great. Definitely. Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you up to our office too, see where we work out of. Yeah. So, yeah. Sounds good. Well, cool. thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you thanks for having for us. on the show today. Yeah, this is fun. Our pleasure. If uh, you guys want to uh, ever come back, you're welcome to yeah. and come for an Americano. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for those of you listening, uh, go ahead and uh, follow Kingsgate Construction. They, uh, they're they always posting some interesting yeah, we're stuff. we're showing all sorts of stuff all the time, so check us out for sure. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you. We're good. Yeah. Thanks so much for listening to episode 23 of KT Confidential. Make sure you check us out on Instagram at Cormendy Trot and follow us wherever you may be listening.